why do you want to serve in Montana? And I can tell you this. I've been in the legislature for two sessions. And I can actually see results. I see them in our communities on a daily basis. I see what we do here actually taking effect. And in the Senate here, our decorum is vital. I'm excited. I'm very thankful for the opportunity to serve as your president. There are three people that really changed. Montana has historically been built by generations of families. Some of you come from those families. That essential strength and support system is threatened as family members are forced to move away. Montanans can't afford housing and child care. As a result, businesses can't find employees and support services can't keep up. For example, our community-based mental health resources are currently overwhelmed. Our job over the next 90 days is to address these serious pressures that Montanans are experiencing. Our task is to listen to stakeholders, to gain a full understanding of all these challenges, and to build consensus on effective solutions, ensuring that we all get a fair shake. And in this session, we need to recognize that there's still more work to be done. Montanans are struggling with inflation, with housing that is expensive and difficult to come by, and the high cost of living. This session, we're going to help Montanans meet those challenges. We want our state to be a great place to live, to raise a family, to start a business. We want it to be a haven for freedom and liberty. We want to embrace our values, Montana values, like we always have in this legislature. Thank you, members. You may be seated. On behalf of the members of the House, I thank you, Secretary Jenkinson, for your help here this afternoon. Well, Representatives Welch and Representatives Wendy Boyd, please come forward and escort Secretary of State Jacobson from the House Chambers. Please rise as the Secretary of State exits the chamber.